Your PA's here. Oh, oh, hello, Len. Shall we grab a few? Thanks for my dedication this morning. Very nice. You're welcome. You realise it was nothing to do with Valentine's Day. <laughs> what have you got for me? Uh, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? The good news? Well, Rawlinson's have said you can have another 50 of the shop soil chocolate oranges if you plug them again tomorrow. Excellent. And the bad news? The accountants say that since you've definitely not got a second series from the BBC, you're going to have to sack everyone at Pear Tree Productions and close the office down. Otherwise, they're going to declare you bankrupt on Friday. Still, good news about the chocolate oranges. <laughs> now, Alan, you're going to have to trade down your River 800 for a smaller car. Go on. I picked up these brochures for the new Metro. It's, it's a lovely car. Len, and if you I, do... Len, I'm not they're... driving a Mini Metro. But, but you do have to make substantial savings. Len, I'm not driving a Mini Metro. But if you do, you can keep Pear Tree Productions going with a skeleton staff of two... There's and no just... point finishing the sentence, Len, because I'm not driving a Mini Metro. But if it... Len! I'll just speak over you. But I... <laughs> Go on, try and finish the sentence and see what I do. <laughs> Go on. With a I'm not driving a mini metro. Too. I'm not driving a mini metro. No, 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 it's different. It's called a Rover Metro now. They've rebadged it, you fool. <laughs> Well, Alan, if you want a Rover 200, you're going to have to sack everyone at Pear Tree Productions. Fine. <laughs> Including Jill. Jill. Lovely Jill. She's my favourite. But fine, I'll sack her. <laughs> you smiled then, Lynn. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I can read you like a book. And not a very good book. <laughs> Certainly not Bravo 2-0 by Andy McNabb. <laughs> which actually improves with every read. No, you smile because you don't like Jill because she's younger than you. No, she's not. She's 50. Well, so is Helen Mirren. So is Benjamin Netanyahu. You're always going on about Benjamin Netanyahu. Let it go, Lynn. You're never going to meet him. <laughs> right, I'm going to spot of breakfast. Oh, quick tip, Lynn. You know the uh, breakfast buffet? Eat as much as you like, but from an eight-inch plate. See that? Twelve inches. <laughs> Keep it in my room. <laughs> See you later. Aye, aye, Mr. Parridge. Morning. Hey, Valentine's Day of the day, eh? Lovers in the air. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day today and love is in the air. Aye, aye. Oh, <laughs> getting the hang of this. <laughs> Mind you, I have been here ten weeks. <laughs> so, uh, are we having the full English breakfast? Yes, please. Can I have my sausages burnt to a crisp, please? Oh, so so right. that they can only be identified by reference to their dental records. <laughs> OK. Uh, either that or the fingerprints, eh? <laughs> can you fingerprint a sausage? <laughs> eh, well, I suppose technically could I? I suppose if I was a burglar and I wanted to uh, avoid detection, I could uh, strap sausages to my fingers. <laughs> Probably survive a couple of break-ins before it started to fall apart. Hi. Uh, maybe, maybe it's just have like a beef burger for your palm, you know. No, that's a bit too far-fetched. <laughs> do enjoy these chats in the morning. Oh, I... <laughs> 18 till I die. I'm gonna be 18 till I die.